My entire life, you know, because I've been running for 20 years now, and running has been such a focus for those 20 years, like to the detriment of other things for sure. And I like to think now I'm 31 years old that I've, you know, started working towards a little more balance in my life, but if I'm to be honest, it's still a very uh, pretty focused, myopic kind of existence where like I've, everything in my life is structured about getting to, to get outside as much as possible and do things I want to be doing outside. And um, it comes down to connection and being engaged in life. You know, I mean, that's really it. It's like, it's, it's a structure for having this purpose and focus and, and uh, commitment to something on a daily basis. It's something that's been part of my personality, you know, essentially forever, I think. I involuntarily had like a micro amount of talent for it when I was 11 years old. You know, I was the fastest kid in my class of 12, big deal, you know, like in Niagara and Nebraska. But that little bit, I was like, oh, I have a little bit of talent to this in some micro way, you know, a positive reinforcement. And then like immediately, I mean, I went from running one mile a day to keeping a train log within two months and I was 11 years old. I was just, I was into it from the beginning, you know, super psyched on it. You know, I mean, I wasn't socially accepted in high school at all, like, because I was like a smart kid, wasn't interested in like going out and shooting stop signs with shotguns and drinking beer on the weekends. So I was total social, I wasn't part of the social scene at all in high school. But running was always like my source of like, oh, I'm a better person, you know, like that kind of thing. It's like where your confidence comes from. Frustration surrounding, you know, being injured in races and, you know, hard rock, particularly this year, I don't know, I'm a very competitive person, and this, you know, you know, someone like Joe, he would corroborate that. I think he would also say that I've mellowed a little bit in the last couple of years, but that's been out of like necessity because of injuries, not because I still don't have ego surrounding all that. But having said that, like, I can't think of any race in the world that I care about more than just like the daily practice of being out in the mountains, pain-free and healthy and enjoying it. That's absolutely the primary concern for me. I mean, I think there's there's an element to racing that maintains a certain amount of relevancy in the sport and on the scene, obviously. But um, the primary motivator for me is still just knowing that I haven't, that I still have a lot of good racing left in me and that, you know, you always, you always want to feel like, oh, I give my best effort, you know, and I feel like I've done that once and that was like Western State. It's a race that I can point to in my racing resume where I was like that I got the best on myself I could that day but I would like to have more experiences like that where you just really lay it all out there and go for it and, and that's why I still pursue racing along with the community aspect obviously if I ever am like thinking about oh like I well, like past my peak in terms of racing it like pisses me off because I, I know that I you know, like I said I feel like Western States was like the one race where I like okay I hit my potential there maybe you know but, like everything else I don't know, I'm just so limited by my body, dude. I just break down all the time, you know? I'd like to think, especially if I continue to like commit to diversifying the activities that can keep some longevity. It's, oh God, I mean, I look back at old training logs, say from 10 years ago or even five years ago, and it blows my mind the crap I used to do. Like just irrational abuse, you know? <laughs> and I feel like, I'm so much more tempered now, or uh, you know, a little more forgiving forms of, of activity. I mean, I think about a legacy only when someone asks me if I'm gonna write a book. I honestly don't feel like I've done anything worth writing a book about. Honestly, like, I mean, any kind of long-term participation I've had in the sport has been sort of like, as a result of an odd conspiring of events that I felt like have mostly beyond my control, and I'm just very fortunate. You know, and like, sure, I'm like, I've won some races. And I think I came into the sport with an attitude at the time that was kind of like maybe fresh and pushed things forward for a couple of years. But like, that was a few years ago already, you know? And now there's a whole different wave of people coming into the sport or pushing the sport in a, in a different way. 
I'm not a super social person, <laughs> so I'm very, I have a limited group of friends, but I mean, loving a partner in, in human relationships, that's the most important human relationship, I feel like. It's the, the most rewarding, the most work, all of those things, and you know, it's hard. And right now, I'm just gotten to a point where you're focusing on this one thing, so you're not, you're not prioritizing as much as maybe you should, and you know, it's evolving. But I've had enough experience with that that I know that that's something that's important to me for sure.